Well, thanks for checking out this pitch clip for a feature film project which could simply be called The Windmill based on the incredible true story of a young boy out of Malawi in Africa with huge dreams. My name is William Kangpamba and I'm from Malawi. And the economy of Malawi, most of them would depend on farming. Yeah, we depend on tobacco. I dropped out because I didn't, my parents have no money to pay me a school fees. And uh, a school fees is uh, $80. We have enough wind in Malawi, and I, uh, I was thinking, uh, what can I do to use that wind so that we can have something? That's why I decided to read some books about the windmills. The time I was set to build a windmill, I was uh, 14 years. Uh, it take me uh, um, about uh, two two months to build the uh, first wind. They couldn't believe that I'll make something to generate electricity. What uh, makes people to start realizing that uh, this thing is uh, useful when you uh, power a radio? Was it music that was on the radio? Uh, it was uh, a local Malawian reggae music. Yeah, so just an amazing story about self-dedication and belief and uh, changing the lives of others and from Africa to the stages of TED Talks. Here he is. I was determined to do anything possible to receive education. So I went to a library. I read books, science books, especially physics. I couldn't read English that well. I used diagrams and pictures to learn the words around them. Another book put that knowledge in my hands. It said, windmill could pump water and generate electricity. Pump water meant irrigation a defense against hunger, which we were experiencing by that time. So I decided I'll build one windmill for myself. But I didn't have materials to use. So I went to a scrapyard where I found my materials. Many people, including my mother, said I was crazy. <laughs> I found a tractor fan, shock absorber, PVC pipes, using a bicycle frame and the old bicycle dynamo, I built my machine. It was one light at first, and then four lights with switches, and even a circuit breaker modeled after an electric bell. Another machine pumps water for irrigation. So if this story was turned into a film, it could inspire the world. And on his first trip out of Africa, this was some of the response from the media. Uh, from a photograph in a textbook, William built a windmill. This is a story that, uh, that is, uh, should be shouted from the rooftops. Yeah, so shouted from the rooftops or turned into an amazing feature film, the inspiring true story. So I'd like to say something to all the people out there like me, to the Africans and the poor who are struggling with your dreams, God bless. Maybe one day you watch this on the internet. I say to you, trust yourself and believe. Whatever happens, don't give it up. Thank you. So I bet they were standing because they were inspired and again, self-discovery, self-belief, self-determination and an inspiring message for everyone. And like the film, The Gods Must Be Crazy, a simple story about a Westerner throwing a Coke bottle out the window in Africa. It took so much money around the world because it was such a unique, inspiring story and I think we can do the same here. And if you look at the way that Africa is represented around the world sometimes, it's not the best sort of inspirational angle and this is a chance to create something out of Malawi about a young guy in the most kind of dire of circumstances, create something that changes not only his life but the life of his family and the people in his village uh, using any means necessary, absolutely inspiring and who would have thought to create a movie 
about a windmill, but uh, it proves that anything's possible. So the chances there to develop up the story, get it going. Thanks for watching.